Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. In this video, I'll be talking about a company called Point Terra, and for full disclosure purposes, I am a shareholder of this company. And it is one of only three companies I've bought into uh, during the past few years, and the whole thesis of me buying into the company was around the story and not around the financial state of the company. So only three times I've done that. So typically when I buy into a company, I like the financial state. I like where their company's heading in regards to cash receipts, growth, profitability, that sort of thing. Now, the good thing around Point Terra, and we'll get into this during this slide because I'll be talking about the Appendix 4C that they released on April the 22nd. It looks like the company is gaining traction in regards to their financial state. So that's exciting to me. But, and this is a big but, but there are a few things that do concern me in relation to not the company itself, but the market perception of the company. And at this point in time, the market is pricing Point Terra to perfection. So if there's any missteps in the future in regards to uh, some of the financial statements they do release, uh, any missteps the management do make, the share price is going to be hammered by the market because the market is thinking only about the rewards around this company, not thinking about any sort of the risks. So I typically like to buy into companies where there's significant rewards and there's low risk. And at this point in time, the risk around Port Terra is quite high based off the valuations. And even though the rewards can be quite high as well, just the, those risks in regards to valuation does cause me a little bit of concern. But before we get into the Appendix 4C, just going to talk about some of the facts around this company. Point Terra, the ticket code is 3DP, a perfect ticket code for this company. In fact, when I think of Point Terra, I just think 3DP these days. Uh, most other companies, I think of their whole name, but I don't think of their ticket code. But this is one company where the ticket code is perfect for the company. Now, I've already mentioned the valuation around Point Terra. And uh, market cap is $351 million. So that is actually quite high, especially when you compare it to the revenue of only $2.3 million. So that's in the trading 12 months. So the market is expecting those revenue numbers to significantly increase over the next few years to justify that valuation. And they are operational cash flow negative, but not a lot, only negative at 0 0.8. But when we look at the most recent Appendix 4C, Released on April 22nd, there is some good news in regards to operational cash flow. Now, one of the ratios I do look at for these sort of companies is the price to sales. And the price to sales for Point Terra right now is 153. Now, whenever I see a price to sales of about 20 or 30, that's when I start to think a company is getting exciting, regardless of the growth of the company, particularly over 30. Any sort of price to sales over 30, no matter the growth of the company, it is getting overvalued. So Point Terra, unless they significantly increase their revenue over the next few years, the valuation of this company is overvalued at these prices. So that is something to keep in mind, particularly if you're not a shareholder uh, and you're thinking of buying into this company. Just keep in mind that this company is priced to perfection and any missteps will see the share price being hammered. But this uh, most recent Appendix 4C was complete opposite to a misstep. In fact, you'll see the market reaction. It was a perfect Appendix 4C for this company to release. And here is the most important part of Point Terra's Appendix 4C. Now, if you look at their report, you'll notice about five or six pages of activities the company has done over the past three months. I completely ignore that. I just skip over that. Uh, first time I look at an Appendix 4C, I go straight to the consolidated statement of cash flows. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for numbers. I don't care about activities for the three months. I care about the numbers for the three months. I'll eventually have a look at the activities and see what the company has been doing. But for me, the most important thing about the Appendix 4C are the numbers here. And the first thing I look at is receipts from customers. Now, before I look at the receipts from customers, I do have an idea or expectations around what I want to see. So for Point Terra, it was growth from the previous quarter. So I was looking for numbers around 1 to 1.1 million at the very least. And we received $1.374 million in receipts for the quarter. So that was probably slightly exceeding my expectations. But the most important thing here... 4.0 was the bottom number. 
the question on whether the company is operational cash flow positive or negative is very important. And Point Terra was operational cash flow positive for the quarter of $211,000. And if they can maintain that operational cash flow positiveness through the remaining next few quarters and continue to be operational cash flow positive, it is a major inflection point for any company like this. It also means, because they also received um, money from the exercise of options, something like $300,000, it means they grew their cash on hand through the quarter from $4.5 million to $5.1 million. And that's very important because when a company can fund their growth through their operations, that means they won't have to do capital raisings, they won't have to do any borrowings, they have reached the point where I consider them a real business and Pointera is getting to that point. Now, talking about the cash receipts 4.0 of 1.374 million in isolation is good, but you need to know the trend. If that is the smallest cash receipts number they've received over the past three years, that would be bad for a business. You want to see an upwards trend when it comes to cash receipts. So here is the cash receipts history 4.0 since January 2018. And there is little doubt here we are seeing an upwards trend. Now, one little thing here, there is a bit of lumpiness here. I can definitely see a peak in cash receipts in April 2019, then it went down, another peak in July 2020, then it went down for the next two quarters, and another jump in receipts. So that lumpiness is something typical you'll see in a new business that has just started growing receipts because as they grow more and more contracts, um, some of those contracts will come, especially the larger ones, will come in the one quarter. So you see a bit of a supercharge in the receipts in that one quarter. And then the next few quarters might be down a little bit. But as they gain more and more contracts point terra, over time, the effect of one contract in terms of the overall contracts will be less. So we should see the lumpiness in receipts become less and less with time. That's the hope anyway. But the main thing here is we are seeing an upwards trend in the receipts. In fact, I did calculate the compound quarterly growth rate in receipts and the growing receipts at 30% per quarter. And that is a significant number because that is per quarter. If you saw that sort of growth rate per year as a shareholder, you would be happy, but this is per quarter. So they are significantly growing um, receipts. But in saying that, it's off a low base. So this is from... Uh, January 2018, when they had receipts of only 46,000. So if they can continue growing at this rate with a base of 1.374 million, that would be significantly impressive. And the market cap of Pointera would be significantly higher than it is now. The other thing that excited me about this report was the market reaction. So not only was the company operational cash flow positive, we also saw a quite positive reaction from the market. Now, typically, I would say be very hesitant about buying in the first 15 minutes of trading because sometimes you get overzealous, overexcited buyers or traders coming into the market. They see the announcement, don't fully understand it, but they think it's positive, buy, and then the share price collapses after they buy in at the open. So I like to see what happens to the trading of a company from 15 minutes after it opens through the rest of the trading day. And we look at the market reaction or the trading through the rest of the day, four point tower, it was positive. The share price kept on going up throughout the day on April the 22nd. In fact, the share price finished at the high of the day at 66.5 cents, which meant the share price had increased 28% for the day. So a very positive trading day, four point tower, the day they released this announcement. And that positiveness has translated into the next day. As I'm speaking, the market has been open for about an hour and the share price was up about 7 8%. So it has continued this positiveness into the next trading day. Now I'm just going to show you two charts in regards to Point Terra. The first chart is the three-year weekly chart and then we'll look at the one-year daily chart. I like to look at weekly charts, particularly longer terms, three, five-year, ten years, just to see where there's been a shift in the sentiment in regards to a company. And for what Terra, you can definitely see where there was a shift in the sentiment. Some positive views came into the market, and we'll get into that in a second. But if you go back to October 2018, the company released an announcement in regards to enterprise sales update, multiple international enterprise sales, and the market temporarily got excited uh, for Point Terra. The share price increased from 3.1 cents 
to 8.4 cents at the high of that week, but it was only temporarily because you can see a massive spike in volume, but then the next week there was a massive spike in selling, and that was a reason why this was just a temporary uh, state of excitement in the market in regards to Point Terra. Then the share price went sideways forever up until July of 2020 when tech entrepreneur Bevan Slattery decided to buy 50 million shares at five cents, raising $2.5 million for Point Terra. An awesome investment by Bevan Slattery, but just his name, Bevan Slattery, can cause excitement in the market. In this case, this was a definite example because this was a catalyst behind the re-rating in Point Terra share price, and the share price has just been in a well-defined uptrend ever since then. In fact, every single time the share price gets to that uptrend, it bounces off it. And we've seen a couple of times the market get a little bit too excited. Uh, we did see the share price get to about 70 cents or 65 cents in late September, early October, and then pull back towards the uptrend. And more than recently, the share price got to about 90 cents a few months ago and has pulled back to 60 cents and now has bounced off it. So at this point in time, a well-defined uptrend. If I was a holder of Point Out, which I am, there's no reason to sell out of it because the market is still excited in regards to this company. Now onto the one year daily chart and here you can see where that announcement about the average salary bought into Point Terra and how that was the catalyst behind the re-rating. So typically when you see a catalyst, you'll see the share price jump up, you'll see a bit of a gap there, but there's significant volume, massive amount of volume. And if the share price goes sideways, like uh, Point Terra did after or subsequent trading days, that's the time to buy in because there's no selling coming to the market. So even though there's been a lot of buying, there was no selling. So that's very unlike the previous occasion in October 2018 when a lot of selling came into the market to drive the share price down. In this instance, there was no selling. Perfect time to buy Point Terra. Around, what was that, 10 cents or so, just above 10 cents. And ever since then, the share price has been going up. At times, the market has been a little bit too excited, and every single time it gets too, a little bit too excited, the share price does retreat. Now, it did look like the uptrend could have been failing a few weeks ago. It fell below the uptrend line, but then it's pushed back through the uptrend line with this latest Appendix 4C release, and the share price has now moved above 70 cents. And that's all for this video on Point Terra. If you are a shareholder of this company and missed something that you really want to point out, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. I've completely missed all the activities for the company over the past quarter. I even didn't even say what this company does, um, but I'm pretty sure I've done a video on Point Terra explaining what they do in the past. If I did do that video, I'll leave it in the description of this video so you can have a look at that if you're curious. Otherwise, yeah, if I did miss something, leave it in the comment section. If you disagree with something I've said, leave it in the comment section. And this, you know, talk about why you disagree. Don't just say you disagree. Talk about why you disagree. Otherwise, um, I'm not a financial advisor. So if you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who's qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's all for this video. Have a good day. Bye.